Hola, hola, hola. It's the Chico John, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so for today's video, we are actually going to take one of my all-time favorite jackets. It's this beautiful Levi's jacket. Um, it used to be called the Virgil jacket, um, and that's what you're seeing here. And they have recently changed it to the vintage uh, fit jacket. I really love this jacket. I bought it in um, Miami uh, last year <clears throat> with some friends and I decided that I wanted to like really customize it. I really like the denim on it. Um, so I decided to embellish it, add the trans flag on there, um, as well as take this like insert um, and draw the pride flag. Um, the only thing is that I kind of want this jacket to be a little bit more multi-purpose. Um, and so what I want to do is I actually want to go ahead and cover up this pride flag. Um, and I also want to cover the back of the jacket as well, um, just with the panel fabric. And ultimately what I want to do is I want to be able to use the front of the jacket to add patches to that I collect um, as I as I travel through the country and through the world. And I also want to add in the pride flag um, in a very similar fashion to this um, so that it kind of looks like a patch. Um, so yeah, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and yeah, grab some fabric and use them uh, to update this, this jacket. I really, really love this jacket. Um, so stick around and let's upcycle this. I've got two fabric options uh, for this jacket. So the first fabric option is this one. It's like this really cool, It, yeah, it's like this really cool gray tie-dye. Um, and I really like this one because I feel like it'll tone down all of the colors and all of the patches that I'm gonna plan on putting on the front of it. But I also have this beautiful teal tie-dye. Um, as you can see, this beautiful teal tie-dye on there. So I'm kind of debating between these two, but I'm most likely going to lean towards this more neutral, um, water-washed, water-colored, uh, gray, <laughs> grayscale tie-dye. And what I also have is this piece of white, um, I think it's called jersey. It's a little stretchy. Um, and I want to use this as the lining um, for that front panel because there is a lot of paint on there. So I just want to be able to take uh, this white piece and really make sure that I don't see anything uh, through this fabric um, as I sew it in. Let's get started. So I want to start off with the front panel just because it's going to be smaller. Um, hopefully a little bit more manageable for me to kind of play around with. Um, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the piece of fabric and just lay it on top of this panel um, and just trace it uh, and then try to get as close a fit as possible with the white jersey um, as well as, I've decided, as well as this. Um, yeah. Let's get to it! I love it. 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 <gasps> it looks so good. All right. <laughs> now the big panel. 
Before sewing in the panel in the back, I decided to take off this already existing piece of fabric that I got when I bought the jacket originally, just so the back would be pretty plain except for that new panel that I'm putting in. So for this one, I don't need to double up or anything like that. Yeah, I don't think I need to double up on that. I'm just going to go ahead and take a quick measurement. And then I'm just going to cut a square that is a little bit larger than that um, because I can always cut out any excess um, afterwards. This looks so good. This looks phenomenal. Okay, so all I'm gonna do now is I'm actually just gonna go ahead and cut off all of the excess parts here. Um, and then we're gonna try this on. <laughs> Honey. All right. Ooh, I think I sewed it in a little bit too much. So. Um, I might sew in, actually, it's pretty dope all the way around. So I'm just going to cut it to the, um, to the edges here, and then as it frays, it'll just look really cool and, uh, vintage. Okay, so now that I have the panels sewn into place here in the front, um, as well as here in the back of the jacket. And I'm kind of starting off with a blank slate. What I want to do is I want to add a more detail. Um, so I want to add uh, an all-inclusive pride flag onto this side that kind of goes with the trans pride flag. So I also want to add some additional patches, like I've got one here. So I have a bunch of patches that I've just collected over the years as I've traveled through different parts of the country and I've lived in different places. Um, but what I want to do is first I want to start off with adding in another um, painted decals uh, to this side. So what I'm going to do is I have a box of acrylic paint that I purchased um, a while back and it just has a bunch of colors on here. So I'm just going to use the acrylic paint to paint directly onto the actual jean jacket. So for that, first and foremost, what I'm going to need is I'm going to need some paint brushes here. I'm also going to use a washable pen. As you can see here, um, this is just going to be really nice because I can trace the actual outline of the design and then I can fill it in with the paint and of course my handy dandy ruler on here. Um, and then I will also use a bowl of water um, just to make sure that the paint is washed off of the paint brushes themselves. Alright, so let's get started with tracing the outline of the actual design um, and then where on here it is going to go.
So here again is the before of the jacket before I did any additional embellishment to it with the pride flag and the trans flag that I had done originally as well as the back of the jacket with that fabric that was already on there and the resist that I wrote on there. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and here is the new jacket. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching again. Um, I hope you got some inspiration from this. It's a very quick an upcycle um, to an already existing jacket that I owned. I just had these patches lying around from my travels um, throughout the country and in different places that I've, I've lived. Um, I also just took some pretty basic acrylic paints and some cheap dollar store paint brushes um, and just painted these on there um, just to show my pride. Um, and I got this fabric from Joanne's Fabric and just added it into uh, this front part of the jacket um, as well as to the back part of the jacket on here um, just to kind of tone down what I had done previously. So now you can really focus on the patches that I have on here um, and the pride and trans flags that I have uh, painted on there because that's really what I want the jacket to be. I want it to be like a declaration of who I am. Um, so it's fun, it's easy, and all you need is an already piece of existing jean jacket. You can even do this with pants. Uh, I could imagine you adding the flags to the pants um, or even your state flag um, or patches all over. It's really cool. Um, and I will say that I was stopped at um, Home Depot yesterday uh, by a guy who was like, oh my god, I really love your jacket. And uh, yeah, so it just made me feel really good that like the hard work that I put into this uh, was acknowledged. Thank you again. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like thumbs up button um, and if you are so willing to do so please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell oh no whatever uh, and please follow along and please join me on this journey um, again my instagram handle is at joan laura um, and you can follow my adventures there as well and you can see how I've been strutting around uh, SF with this jacket. <laughs> All right. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>